What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. It's time for my Getting Out of video where I talk about the films that turn 10 and 20 this week. Alright, you know, I, I make this video called Throwback. I should just call it uh, my Getting Out videos. But uh, anyway, here are the films that turns 10, uh, that actually turned 10 this week. One of which on, uh, these films turn 10 on uh, February 19th. One of which is the superhero comic titled Defender, which... Which here is stars of you know Woody Harrelson as an author of I lost my as an author of Poppleton, who's just a regular man who ends up uh, adopting a, a superhero persona uh, known as Defender, and he ends up uh, you know finding the city of the streets, and uh, he ends up searching for his uh, arch enemy named uh, Captain Industry. Now this stars the likes of uh, Woody Harrelson, Cat Dennings. Uh, Defender is pretty fun. It's also very uh, original. I mean, it's always cool seeing a, like I love me some Marvel, and DC, and other comic book adaptations. It's always cool seeing original superhero movies for a change. And Defender is it's pretty underrated. I mean, that and like in 2010 we had that and Super. Pretty cool year for uh for other superhero movies that wasn't Marvel or DC. You know. Anyway, another film that turned. Another film that turned uh, 10 this week is Roman uh, Polanski's film, A Ghost Rider. Now, now this is where a, a ghost rider ends up heading to uh, complete the uh, memoirs of a, a British, uh, pri former British Prime Minister. Uh, and he ends up uncovering secrets that will put his own life in jeopardy. It's also the likes of Ewan McGregor, John Bernthal, Pierce Brosnan, Jim Belushi. It's a it's kind of pretty decent film. I mean, it's not one of... Uh, Obviously, it's weird talking about Roman Polanski now because of what we you know about his personal life and all. But despite you know him being a creep show, he's still a pretty talented director. You know, uh, Chinatown, Rosemary's Baby, Macbeth. I mean, despite him being a, cre a creep show, he put out some pretty decent films. And Ghost Rider was a pretty good one. I'm pretty good cast. You know, Colin Firth, Pierce Brosnan. You can't go wrong with those. Alright, also, another film that turned uh, 10 this week, it is Shutter Island. Now, this, now I love Martin Scorsese, I love everything that guy does. This is actually, to me, this and Sons are two of his worst movies, in my opinion. You know, it's based on a uh, novel by Dennis Le uh, Leon, and it takes place in 1954, and you got a U.S. Uh, marshal who investigates the disappearance of a uh, murder who escapes from a uh, hospital for the uh, criminally, criminally uh, insane. It stars the likes of Leo DiCaprio, Sir Ben Kingsley, uh, Emily Mortimer. You had Jackie Earl Haley, uh, Michelle Williams, Max von Sydow. I mean, this movie was kind of boring, to be honest. I didn't really uh, get much of the uh, gist of it. I, I love Martin Scorsese, but this is probably... To me, this was uh, his bad day in the office, you know? But, uh, anyway. All right, those are the films that turned 10 this week. All right, the films turn, that turned uh, 20 this week... Uh, we got, there was a film called Hanging Up that starred Diane Keen, Meg Ryan, Lisa Kudrow, Walter Matthau, and Cloris Leachman. And it's about a trio of sisters who bond over, uh, their, um, ambivalence, uh, towards the, uh, approaching death of their, uh, you know, um, of their, uh, father, whom, uh, none of them was, uh, <laughs> who none of them was, uh, pr practically, uh, close with and all. This movie's kind of horrible, I mean. Now, I love Diane Keaton, I love Meg Ryan, but holy cow, this was not at all funny. I mean, how how, how did they get um, Walter Matthau in this is beyond me, but uh, anyway. Alright. Other films that turned uh, 20 this week. Uh, literally, two Vin Diesel movies actually turned uh, 20. Uh, Boiler Room with uh, Vin Diesel, Giovanni Ribisi, uh, Nia Long, Jamie Kenney, Scott Kahn. Mark Webber, Ben Affleck, uh, and of course uh, the um, another film that turned uh, twenty is the uh, Riddick movie Pitch Black. So, like two thousands was uh, like a year before Fast and Furious got released. So, looks like uh, Fast and Furious obviously was the one that really put Vin Diesel on the map. But you know he had some breakouts before the Fast and Furious uh, became a big uh, franchise, which Pitch Pat. Uh, Pitch Black, Boiler Room. Remember, he was the same Private Ryan as well. So, he's done stuff before Fast and Furious. But it was just Fast and Furious that really it sent the guy uh, on the map for most. But, uh, you know, I really quite like the Rick movies. They're, they're really cool sci-fi uh, horror elements. Cool flex. And Boiler Room was a very different Vin Diesel movie. It was like a nice crime drama. Uh, 
Really good flick. Uh, Jamie Kennedy was pretty decent. So, all right. Another film that turned uh, 20 is A Whole Nine Yards. Not to be confused with the 2004 horrible uh, sequel, Whole Ten Yards. Uh, this here is A Whole Nine Yards. And it stars the likes of Bruce Willis, Matthew Perry, uh, Amanda Peet, uh, Michael Clark Duncan, Holland Williams. And it's where the this uh, struggling dentist's uh, life is, is uh, turned upside down when a uh, former gangster ends up moving next door, and his wife uh, ends up convincing him to uh, form a, a notorious mob boss about the uh, gangster's uh, whereabouts. A uh, whole nine yards is pretty fun. It's a really nice, uh, you know, gangster-based movie. Anyway, uh, you know. Yeah, anyway, uh, you know, Bruce Willis is great. Uh, the late great uh, Mike Clark Duncan is always great. Some really good cast members. I mean, if you guys have never seen the first whole nine yards, go check that one out. You don't need to borrow the sequel. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, let me lead you guys. Uh, which of these films uh, stand out to you the most? Uh, like to me, out of the ten year list, my favorite film out of the ten years is actually Defender. That movie is pretty fun. And my favorite film out of the uh, twenty year list is actually a whole nine yards. But uh. You know, let me leave you guys. Uh, which of these films uh, stand out to you the most? Like, uh, were you into uh, Whole Nine Yards, uh, Shutter Island, Ghost Rider, uh, Pitch Black, etc.? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Seymour signing off.